I would not say it's common for marine engines to fail, but in our business, they almost can't fail because we're handling big ships. We're handling them around docks where damage is very, very possible. What tugboats basically do is make a ship go sideways, and that's the one thing it can't do on its own. So we have to have virtually 100% reliability. And with MTU, we found that at this point, quite frankly. My father, Harry Rowland, founded Wilmington Tug in 1965. My family has been in the shipping business on the Delaware River for at least 200 years. In fact, my father has a chart on the wall that lists about 12 river pilots on the river in 1776, three of which were Rowlands. Wilmington Tug uh, is the leading tug company on the Delaware River. Uh, this year we'll do about 36% of the uh, ships that have come to the river. The ships are coming from all over the world. We assist ships that are bringing in oil, bananas, steel, automobiles, paper, and uh, general cargo products. This year we'll do about 2,000 ship assists. The biggest ships that we assist are about 300,000 tons. The reliability of that tugboat is critical. Ships, big tankers come up carrying a million, million and a half barrels of oil. You must be there. There is no exception to that. Okay, we're in position. We over here. Okay. All right. The early engines we had on our tugboats were um, Detroit diesel two-cycle engines, which were actually very good engines. The next boats that we we're building needed something a little bigger. We started with MTU in 2001, put two new engines into a brand new boat. Since then, we've put six more engines into three other boats, two of which were new, uh, one of which was a repower. As a captain of a tug, obviously the most important thing is that we know when we get the call to go to duty that the engines will start. Wilmington Tug operates our boats with two men on a boat a captain and a deckhand. They aren't necessarily advanced engineers. We need them to be able to just push the button and go. And with MTU, we get that. We need to know that they're going to run for the entire job, that uh, we're going to get the power that uh, we think we should get. Full ahead, full ahead. Our biggest MTU engines, we really push to the limits uh, less than 1% of the time, even on the biggest of ships that we're handling today. Current MTU engines, we actually have a wide variety of engines. We have the 16 V4000s, we have 12 V4000s, and then we have a pair of 8 V4000s. Getting another half a dozen storms like the one we just had, I guess we'll get some more salt ships up too. Well, yeah. that's right. Hmm? It's certainly been good for that business. Yeah. One of the most important things that I learned when we first put an MTU engine in a boat was just how unbelievably quiet and smooth they were. The engine is packaged ready to be set in the boat, basically. They'll come with soft mounts that are pre-engineered into the engine. They'll come with exhaust flexes, the electronic packages, the consoles, uh, the electronic consoles, uh, the mount in the boat. So it's a fairly complete package. And what really impressed me was that MTU insisted that we go to the shipyard to talk to them about what MTU would provide and what the shipyard should provide to make that construction job go smoothly. The MTU engine to me, at least is my experience and what we've used in the past, is the perfect engine for marine use. Our customer doesn't necessarily know what engine we've got in our tugboat. They just know that when they call, our tugboat's gonna be there. And uh, that's because of MTU. MTU is definitely a strategic partner of ours. If we don't have reliable engines, we don't have a business. I'd like to thank MTU. I mean, we've grown a lot over the years, and uh, MTU's been a large part of that. And MTU has always delivered on its promises.